Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're learning how to play Cascadero, the newest tile-laying game from Reiner Knizia and us here at Bytewing Games. I say tile-layer, but technically you're not laying tiles. Instead, you're laying these envoys claiming territory. Let's do a little backstory for the game. I don't usually go much into the backstory, but in this case, I feel like it can help us to learn the game a little bit. So the land is divided and people are distrusting. El Cascadero is seeking to reunite and bring harmony to the land. And to do so, he's bringing you, the players, to be ministers, helping to bring harmony back to the land. Players want to help the entire kingdom, but they each have one dedicated responsibility, or player color. As you visit towns and build trust, you will move up the tracks for each of the five areas. But by the time the game ends, you need to have moved to the top of your assigned track Otherwise, you have no chance of winning El Cascadero's favor or winning the game. Let's take a look at the setup. And this is a prototype. A few things are going to change in the final production, but to help learn the game, this will be good enough. Place the main board in the center of the table. The board consists of tan field spaces and towns of five different colors. Place a herald on the four towns with a star icon. These are El Cascadero's personal messengers. On the right of the board are the success tracks. Place a seal onto each of the darker, folded spaces on the success track. Each player selects a color and receives a shield, cubes, envoys, and flags in that color. These discs will be cubes in the final version. Place the shield onto the first space of the score track. Place the discs, or in your case cubes, onto the starting spaces of the success tracks. Randomly select a start player and give them the first player marker. On your turn, you will place an envoy onto an empty field. And that's it, that's your turn. The player to your left will do the same and turns will go around and around until the end of the game. But placing an envoy next to a town may trigger town scoring. Since the people are distrusting, they don't trust a single envoy all by themselves, but they will trust an envoy that's part of a larger group, moving you up the success track. In order to score for a town, you need your placed envoy to be part of a group. A group is simply more than one connected envoy. So, this is a group of pink envoys. This is not a group because they aren't connected. Towns will score when you place an envoy that is part of a group next to a town. But it must be the first time that group has made contact with the town in order to score for it. If you've already made contact with that group, you won't do any town scoring. Placing an envoy here would cause town scoring for this blue town. Your placed envoy is part of a group, and it's the first time that group made contact with the town. This would not cause town scoring. This group was already in contact with the town. You can score for the same town twice, but it must be with distinct groups. If a town scores, advance your cube up the success track for that town. If you are the first player to make contact with that town, you'll advance one space up the success track. If another envoy has already made contact with that town, you'll advance two spaces up the success track. And if there's a herald in that town, a personal message from El Cascadero, you'll move an additional space up the success track. So after placing your envoy here, you would trigger town scoring. You are the first person to contact the town, so you advance one space on the yellow track. Blue goes next and places an envoy here. They're the second person to contact the town, so they move two spaces on the yellow track. And if there had been a herald here, you would have moved two, and blue would have moved three spaces. When moving along the success tracks, you will trigger actions. The banners on the left apply to the left four tracks, while the banners on the right only refer to the white track. If you pass or land on that action, you'll take the action. This indicates victory points. Move yourself up the indicated number of victory points. If there are two numbers, the first person to reach that space on that track gains the higher number. Everyone else earns the lower number. This symbol lets you place an additional envoy, which may trigger additional town scoring. This symbol lets you advance any one disc forward by one space. These folded spaces are unique. You only gain the benefit if you land on the space, not if you cross over it. The first player to land on the space will take the seal, placing it in front of them. If the seal has been removed, any other player who lands on the space may move one envoy onto an adjacent field. This action will never trigger town scoring. You'll also see forbidden spaces on the success track. If you are supposed to advance two spaces, 
you must stop on the space below this forbidden space. In order to move past this forbidden space, you'll have to score two or three to move up this track further. So we haven't discussed what the seals do yet. The seal is an official seal from El Cascadero. Usually your envoys will only trigger town scoring if they're part of a group. But if you have the seal, then the people trust you. An envoy placed on top of a seal will score for that town, even if it is not part of a group. So placing your envoy with a seal in this field will let you advance two spaces on the orange track. The center of the board shows objectives or achievements. The objectives with a tan background may only be claimed by one player. The teal background achievements can be claimed by all players. This objective says if all five of your cubes reach the first achievement banner, you earn three points. And remember, this is just the first player to do so. Place a flag on this space and advance three spaces up the score track. The other objectives are to have three of your discs reach the second achievement banner, and one of your discs reach the third achievement banner on any track. This achievement is for the first player to have three seals in front of them. This objective is for one group of envoys connecting towns of all five colors, and this is for a group connecting three towns of the same color. The teal objectives award two points when you connect two towns of the same color in one group. So if your group connects two blue towns, you will earn this objective. You can earn each objective once, and if you complete all five of these objectives, you will earn an additional 10 points. The game will end in one of two ways. As soon as a player is supposed to place an envoy, but they can't because they don't have any left, the game ends. Or when one player finishes their turn after they have crossed the 50 point marker, the little flower here on the board. In order to even qualify for victory, you must have reached the end of the success track on your player color. So if I'm orange, I have to reach the top of the orange track to qualify for victory. The qualifying player with the most points wins. If no player qualifies for victory, then the player with the most points wins a very sad and pathetic minor victory. And in case of a tie, the player who went latest in the turn order is the winner. For an advanced variant, you can play with just two heralds placing them in the center white towns. When you trigger town scoring in a town with a herald, move that herald into any of the adjacent towns that don't already have a herald. You also can't move a herald into a town that has no empty adjacent fields because you just wouldn't be able to get there. The backside of the board is the farmer board. It has fewer towns, but it includes helpful farmers. Shuffle the farmer tiles and place them face up onto each space depicting a farmer. You can't place an envoy onto a farmer token unless that envoy is part of a group. So if I had an envoy next to the farmer, I can place an envoy onto the farmer space, earning that tile and the indicated bonus. The one exception is if I take the move an envoy action, I can move a single envoy onto the farmer space, collecting that tile. And now you know how to play Cascadero. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.